Welcome to Hot Button Hashtags, my name is Matt. Adam, I have to admit, I am strangely intrigued by your home world of Alderaan. And uh, I, I decided to do a little bit of research into it and uh, discovered that you don't actually live on Alderaan anymore. You have since relocated to Alaska. I decided to do the Googles and uh, learn a few more things that I didn't know. Alaska, as you know, is our big brother to the north. Way up on the top of the map, but not actually. The population of the entire state of Alaska, 738,000, that's a rough estimate as of last year. 738,000 people is not a lot of people when you consider that the square mileage of Canada is 663,000 miles and change. That is roughly three times the size of Mars. Now, in my, in my searching, I discovered that that 738,000 includes moose and polar bears. Interesting fact about moose and polar bears. Is it mooses? Moose, mooses? Me, mongooses? Goose, geeses? Mongeese? I should have said reindeer. The moose are not considered full citizens, while the polar bears have a polar bear bill of rights, the PBBOR. As part of the polar bear bill of rights, the Inuit are now a protected class, not like a class of human, but like they have like endangered species status because they are the primary food source of the polar bear. So now only polar bears are allowed to hunt the Inuit, which kind of sucks. The moose might have a lot to complain about as far as not having full citizenship. The Arctic fox has even more to complain about because they are not allowed in Alaska at all. They're considered illegal immigrants and in many cases, potential terrorists. In fact, they've gone so far as to begin construction on a wall along the Alaskan-Canadian border. Um, this wall, actually, th there has been some uh, impeded progress due to a shortage of ice blocks, uh, which are the primary building resource of Alaska. All their buildings are made out of ice. Skyscraper igloos. Alaska, uh, prior to 1867, was part of the Russian Empire. Now, in 1867, Alaska was purchased uh, in a deal called the Alaskan Purchase. It became an official United States territory. A lot of people were against this and they called it Seward's Folly. Uh, Seward being the Secretary of State at the time, William H. Seward, not William H. Macy. You're thinking of Fargo, uh, an also unbearably cold place. William H. Seward was the Secretary of State responsible for the Alaskan Purchase, and a lot of people didn't agree with it. They didn't think it was a good idea. Um, still to this day, 99% of Americans don't get the point of Alaska. And even though uh, it was purchased in 1867, it did not become a state until 1959 because, um, just, because we didn't really want it. Now, as I mentioned before, Alaska is quite large. It is very, very big. In fact, the distance between Anchorage, its largest city, and Fairbanks, its second largest city, is 359.1 miles. That's like a six and a half hour drive if you're hoofing it. There's nothing really to speak of between Anchorage and Fairbanks. And if your car breaks down or if you stop for any reason, uh, as stated in the Polar Bear Bill of Rights, you will be eaten by a polar bear. It's true. I did not know this, but until 1987, Inuit babies were considered currency. Alaska's state motto is North to the Future. Very Buzz Lightyear. Kind of awesome, right? Uh, due to a clerical error in 1998, however, uh, a young man named Kobe Franklin Murphy became what's known as the High Shaman of Tourism and changed the motto to Alaska. We need more chicks. In 2015, Alaska legalized the use of marijuana in an attempt to make everyone there forget how horrible life is. Alaska gets approximately one hour of sunlight every 16 years. Spider-Man is actually Alaska's state bird. Adam, you live in a magical and mystical land, and I envy you.